guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Teacher V and if this is your first time visiting, please do not forget to click the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you will be notified once a new video becomes available. If you have questions, comments, or suggestions, please put it in the comment section below and I'll try my best to respond to you as soon as possible. So in this particular activity, we are going to do a mock-up of an app of a coffee shop. So you have four categories. So for example, pastries, pizza, burgers, and drinks. And if you click one of these categories, for example, pastries, it goes to that page and then the icon of this slide will be activated by changing its color. And then there is another home button here that you can go to when you want to go back. So when you want to go to drinks, or the drink slide appears. So let's get started. So I'm going to start a blank layout and then I'm going to insert my background for my slide. And then I'm going to click picture format and then make sure that the crop is selected. And then I'm going to click the drop down button and then select aspect ratio and select 16 by nine. Deselect, then click it again and then fill the entire slide. Then let's insert the iPad image i'm going to click the rotation handle so that it will be in landscape mode and then i'm going to resize it and then i'm going to insert a background image for our ipad i'm going to click crop and then crop the shape and then the rounded rectangle and then i'm going to click here this yellow box here and then i'm going to drag it a little bit so that it fits on the edges of the ipad and then i'm going to click crop again and then place the mouse pointer here and then drag it in and then i'm going to place my mouse pointer here and then i'm going to drag it a little bit here and then drag it here a little bit and then click outside and then there it is, our background for our iPad. And then I'm going to go to Format Pane, and then I'm going to select Picture, and then I'm going to go to Picture Transparency. I'm going to make it 85, and then I'm going to insert the logo. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And then I am going to click Crop, crop the shape and then I'm going to choose circle and now you will notice that it was cropped in a circular manner let's choose a line color let's make it gray and then the line weight is two and one four point and then we are going to apply shadow and then the transparency is 90 and then the size is 100% the blur is 17 and then the angle is 0 and then the distance is 3 point so that's our logo I'm going to put it a little bit here and then let's insert a text box and then let's put Kathy Andrews and then let's make it pompadour then let's make it bold and then let's align it to the right and then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger I'm going to make it 32 I'm going to choose a font color which is color red and then I am going to put another text box I am going to press the option key while I drag this text box so it creates a copy and then I am going to make this coffee shop and then I'm going to make this gray and then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller I'm going to make it 24 I'm going to duplicate this text so I'm going to click it I'm going to hold the option key on my keyboard and then I'm going to drag it here I'm going to align it to the left and then I am going to make it main menu and then I'm going to highlight the text and then I am going to make it 44 and then I am going to make it blue and then I am going to put four rectangle shapes. So I'm going to click insert and then shapes. And then I'm going to choose the rounded rectangle. I'm going to drag it here. So I'm going to drag it a little bit here. And then I'm going to change the shape fill. And then I'm going to select this one. And then I'm going to change the color of the line. I'm going to make it gray. And then the line weight is one and a half point and there it is now i am going to also change the transparency of this object i'm going to click this and here in the fill and line tab i am going to change the transparency of the fill so make sure that you are in fill and then i'm going to change the transparency to 80 
and then I'm going to click here and then press the option key on my keyboard and then drag it down and then I am going to press the shift key so that these two objects will be selected at the same time and then I am going to hold the option key and then drag it to the right so now I have four rounded rectangles I am going to move this a little bit higher so I'm going to click here press the shift key and then click the other objects while I'm holding the shift key then I'm going to drag it a little bit higher there you go I'm going to go to insert and then select icons and then let's select cupcake we are not going to insert it yet we are going to insert it later and then let's select coffee and then let's type pizza and then let's type burgers so these are the four categories that we are going to use and then make sure that these are all selected I'm going to place my mouse pointer on the lower right side of the object I'm going to click it inward and I don't need to hold the shift key because as you can see here in the aspect ratio it is locked so if it's locked you don't need to hold the shift key anymore if this is unlocked you need to hold the shift key and then I'm going to put this one here this one here this one here this one here I am going to click the coffee shop and then I am going to hit option key and then drag it here so it duplicates the text box and then just type pastries. I'm going to align it to the left and then I'm going to click here and then hold the option key on my keyboard and then I'm going to type pizza and then I'm going to click option I'm going to drag it here and then type burgers I'm going to click here hold the option key and then I will type drinks so I am going to change the fill color of the object, so I'm going to click here, I'm going to select the shape fill, I'm going to make this purple, the pizza, I'm going to make it green, the burgers, I am going to make it orange, and then for the drinks, I am going to make it red. So this will be our main menu. So now we are going to duplicate the slide, so I'm going to click here, right click, and then select duplicate slide. So we are going to remove everything except the heading. So I'm going to hit the shift key while I'm selecting the other objects. Then I'm going to press the delete key. And then I am going to make this a little bit smaller. I am going to duplicate this text by pressing the option key and then dragging it here. I'm going to align it to the left and then I am going to type pastries. I'm going to make it 28. I'm going to change the font color to blue. And then I'm going to insert an image. I'm going to insert pastry one, and then drag it here. And then I am going to make it a little bit smaller. Then I'm going to put it here. I am going to crop this image. I'm going to go to picture format. And then I am going to click crop, and then crop the shape. And then I'm going to select the rounded rectangle. And then I'm going to zoom it in a little bit so that you can see this yellow box here. You can just drag it here so that you can adjust the border radius. Now I am going to put a line color I'm going to click here and then I'm going to choose a gray color and then I'm going to make the line weight one and a half point and then I am going to zoom it out so that you can see it okay so now that we have set up our image I am going to click here and then I am going to hit the option key and then drag it down so that it creates a duplicate of this object I'm going to hit the option key again and then drag it here and now it creates another duplicate of this object now we are going to replace these two images here so how are we going to do that we are going to right click here and then change picture from a file and then i'm going to replace it with pastry 2 i'm going to replace this with pastry 3 and then click insert so now i have already replaced the images we are going to put the text beside these images so i'm going to click here and then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing the option key again and then i'm going to align it to the left and then i'm going to make the font a little bit smaller and then I am going to change this to custard cake and then I am going to duplicate this text I'm going to drag it here I'm going to make it 16 and then I am going to make it dark gray and then I am going to replace it with some random text 
and then I am going to click edit and then paste and match formatting and then I am going to extend it a little bit here so this will be just like the description of this image and then we are going to duplicate this text again I'm going to click option and then drag it down and then I am going to highlight all of this and then I'm going to type customers rating and then column and then I'm going to click insert and then symbol and then I'm going to type star and then I'm going to choose this star so I'm going to highlight this hit command C and then hit command V to paste it. I'm going to make a copy of additional four stars and then I am going to change the font size of this text to 14 and then I am going to make it orange. So there is my text for this image. I am going to highlight all of this text and then I'm going to hold the option key and then drag it down. Hold the option key and then drag it down and then I'm going to go here to Ramsu. I'm going to type here Velvet cake and then I'm going to remove some stars here and that's how are you going to do it now I already went ahead and set up the slides for pizza burgers and drinks So now what we are going to do next is we are going to copy the icons. We are going to go back to the first slide. We are going to copy this icons. We're going to hit command C and then we are going to paste it here. And then we are going to make it a little bit smaller. And then we are going to change the fill color to gray. So we're going to align it here. Don't worry if they are not aligned properly. You can just like highlight all of them. Go to graphics format and select align and then align top and then click align and then select distribute horizontally and then it will be distributed horizontally let's drag it a little bit lower here so now we are going to insert hyperlink so when we click this one it goes to the pastry slide so when we click this one it goes to the pizza slide etc so how are we going to do that so first let's click this one hit command k and then let's click this document and then click slide titles and then let's click slide 2 remember pastries is in slide 2 and then click ok and then click here hit command k and then slide title and then pizza is a slide 3 so click slide 3 and then click OK and then right click here hyperlink and then slide titles and then select slide 4 then click OK and then click the last icon and then click slide titles and then slide 5 and then click OK so there it is. Now we are also going to insert an icon for home. So when we click the home button, it goes back to the main menu. So let's click insert and then select icons. And then let's just type home and then click insert. And then let's just make it a little bit smaller and then let's put it here. And then let's change the fill color to green. There you go. And then let's click here and then select command K and then slide titles and then slide one and then click so there it is now we are going to select all of these icons and hit command C and then let's paste it in all the slides there you go okay now so the idea is once this slide is active the icon will scale up and it will change its color based on the color on the main menu. so how are we going to do that so let's select this icon I am going to zoom it in a little bit and then I am going to change the fill color to purple and then I'm going to scale it up and then I am going to go to the next slide. I'm going to select this one. I'm going to scale it up. And then I'm going to change it to green. And then I am going to select this one. And then I am going to scale it up. And then I'm going to change this to orange. And then I'm going to select this one. And then I am going to scale it up. And then I'm going to change it to red. So now, after we do that, let's select all the slides. And then hit command A to select all of them. And then select incisions. And then click more and then now let's add hyperlink the main menu so click here and then press command k and then let's go to slide 2 then click ok so let's click here hit command k and then let's select slide 3 and then click ok select the other one hit command k and then select slide 4 and then click here and then hit command k and select slide 5 now let's run it so i'm going to go to pastries and you will notice that the pastry icon is active because it changed its color and it's a little bit scaled up. So when we go to the pizzas, again it scales up and it changes its color. Now if we would like to go back to the main menu, so that's how are we going to do it. And then when we go to drinks, 
you notice that the drinks is active because it changes its color 